So in this video, you will learn more about or you will just revise on what you learned about covalent bonds and learn about bond length and the strength of the bond. So let's do some examples of covalent compounds. And uh, as I said before, it is formed between two non-metals or combine hydrogen or group 4, 5, 6, 7 elements combine with each other, a covalent bond is formed. Some of the examples given over there are chlorine, bromine, oxygen, nitrogen and then I have given you some compounds with hydrogen also HCl, water, ammonia, methane etc. Now the number of bonds formed between the elements depends on the number of electrons they share. For example consider say uh, Cl and Cl they share uh, one electron each that means there is two uh, electrons between the two Cl and hence a single bond is formed. But in case of oxygen because each oxygen has six outer electronic configuration, so needs two more. Hence, uh, in between two oxygens, we have two pairs of electrons and hence a double bond is formed. And in case of nitrogen, which has five outer electrons, and in order to complete the octet, it needs three more electrons. Therefore, each nitrogen shares three electrons and hence there are three pairs of electrons in between the two nitrogen and a triple bond is formed. So point to be noted is each bond meets two electrons and uh, all the compounds of carbon they form covalent bonds and um, compounds of carbon have a special uh, chemistry allotted to them and that we call as organic chemistry. So after a bond is formed, let's see how long it is. Bond length is the distance between the nuclei of two covalently bonded atoms in a molecule. And if there is a bond between carbon-carbon, that's a single bond, that will be larger than a carbon-carbon double bond and that's larger than a carbon-carbon triple bond. Uh, and I've given you values also. You can see that a carbon-carbon single bond has a value of 154 picometer whereas a carbon double bond carbon has a value of 133 picometers and carbon triple bond carbon is 120 picometer. So the bottom line is a single bond is longer than a double bond and a double bond is longer than a triple bond. This is what you have to remember. You don't have to remember the values. And uh, another thing is larger the atom, longer will be the bond. If there is a bond between carbon and carbon and hydrogen and hydrogen because carbon is longer uh, is uh, larger in size than hydrogen a carbon carbon bond will be larger than ca hydrogen hydrogen bond and i've given you the values also a carbon carbon bond is 154 picometer and a hydrogen hydrogen bond is 74 picometer so we'll do some question on this identify the longer bond of the two pairs given carbon carbon single bond and carbon double bond carbon Carbon single bond carbon is longer because the single bond is longer than a double bond. Then HPR and HCl, HPR is longer because in that case you have to consider the size. Chlorine is smaller than Br. And between a triple bond carbon and a uh, single bond carbon, carbon carbon single bond is longer because single bond is longer than a, a triple bond. Carbon oxygen and carbon sulfur, carbon sulfur will be longer because oxygen is smaller than sulfur. Then oxygen double bond O of nitrogen triple bond N and it will be a double bond is longer than a, a triple bond therefore uh, oxygen double bond is longer. And between the other two pairs we have to consider the size. Fluorine is smaller than Br and uh, hydrogen is smaller than carbon. That's why the answers are given as written. After the bond then let's do uh, the strength of the bond. So what is the strength of the bond? bond uh, the strength of the bond is measured by bond energy and uh, it is the energy required to break one mole of a molecule into their individual atom. So bond energy will be positive when the bond is broken and we call the process as endothermic. And the bond energy will be negative when the bond is formed and we call the process as exothermic. And larger the bond energy, stronger will be the bond. And it's quite obvious that a single bond will be easier to break than a double bond because you need almost double the energy to break a double bond and triple bond will have a larger bond energy. So 
So therefore, what you have to remember is a single bond with a carbon-carbon single bond uh, will be, uh, you need lesser energy to break as compared to a carbon-carbon double bond and lesser as compared to a carbon-carbon triple bond. For your um, to understanding better, I have given the values also. You can see that the bond energy required to break a carbon-carbon triple bond is uh, almost two, two and a half times as which is required for a carbon-carbon single bond. So what kind of a questions you will get on bond strength? So remember that a triple bond is stronger than a double bond is stronger than a triple bond. And another thing is bonds formed between elements of similar sizes are stronger. Uh, for example, so consider uh, a group of uh, uh, compounds given to you, not a compound, the bonds shown to you, bond formed between carbon iodine, carbon bromine, carbon uh, Cl and carbon fluorine. So when you look at all the three, carbon fluorine, carbon and fluorine are closer to size as compared to carbon and iodide because in the periodic table you know that the size increases as you go down the group, fluorine is larger than I. And carbon and fluorine are more closer in size to each other. Hence, the bond formed between carbon and fluorine will be more stronger. And uh, that the two points I have written over there, that's all you have to remember. If there is a single bond, and uh, just look at the sizes of one of the atoms attached to it. And then uh, another example I have given is the bonding between uh, hydrogen and nitrogen and uh, various other elements, hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen and uh, hydrogen, um, fluorine. So here also, though uh, hydrogen is smaller for all of them, but if you compare the size, fluorine is the smallest amongst all of them and therefore a hydrogen fluorine bond will be stronger as compared to a hydrogen oxygen or a hydrogen nitrogen bond. So just remember, if it is the same element, then uh, the single bond uh, is weaker and the triple bond is stronger. If the same element is bonded to different elements of different sizes, uh, elements with similar sizes will be stronger. Just and as in this case, a carbon fluorine bond or a hydrogen fluorine bond is more stronger. Just add as we did with uh, less uh, length of the bond, let's do the uh, given some compounds and uh, given some bonds and identify the stronger bonds amongst them. Uh, between carbon carbon single bond and a carbon carbon double bond, carbon double bond is stronger because double bond is stronger. I've given the reasons also. You can look at it between HPR and HCl. HCl is stronger because Cl is more closer to hydrogen in size. I am not saying that they are same size. They are closer to the hydrogen's uh, size. And carbon-carbon triple bond will be stronger than a carbon-oxygen single bond. A triple bond is always stronger. Carbon-oxygen and carbon-sulfur. Again, uh, carbon-oxygen will be stronger. And uh, now oxygen double bond O and nitrogen triple bond O. Uh, you know that nitrogen triple bond nitrogen will be stronger. Hydrogen bromine and hydrogen F, F is more closer to hydrogen, therefore that bond is going to be stronger. And carbon-carbon uh, single bond and hydrogen-hydrogen single bond. Here, it is two different uh, elements, but the bond is single. So, smaller the atom, the overlap is better and hence the bond will be stronger. That's the reason a HHH bond is stronger than a CC bond.